Yo, yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you for showing out, bringing the energy and bringing the vibe to the channel once again. I appreciate you guys and if you're new, my name is Droy. So for today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a little stretching and mobility routine. This is actually gonna be like kind of like a vlog vibe, so this is just to start the video. This stretching and mobility routine is gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna be doing it with my friend Gisela. So to make it a little bit different, to make it unique, because that's what we love to do, I'm gonna do one move and then she's gonna do a move. You roll this dice, roll the dice, and then this would be the first move we do. <laughs> okay. Now look at that one. No, that was amazing. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's the warrior book. All right, guys. So the first one we're going to start with is going to be. We'll start with the. And Always remember when you're doing your stretches and you're doing your mobility work, you want to surrender your body to the stretch so that way you can really feel the activation. One, this is going to be difficult. So it looks like you want to squat down to like a quarter squat, like a quarter squat. All right, guys, now that we finished with the little yoga dice, we're about to just go move for move. See what Gisela's. See what she got, you know what I'm saying? You guys know I do this. I love my stressing my mobility routine. Just for a little bit of context, whoever's on the colorful mat is the one leading the movement. Each stretch we held for about 60 seconds and this routine only took 15 minutes. It's so important to invest into yourself and invest into the things that are important. And when you're doing stretching and mobility work, you're investing into three things, mind, body, spirit. That's the big three. You gotta tackle all of those. And when you're doing this work, it's a great way to be on top of that. You're taking some deep breaths you're feeling good you can do it by yourself you can do it with a friend you can do it with a family member and this is really important invest into the things that really matter that was the lizard pose and that one really helps me open up my hips my spine my shoulders what did you feel what did you feel from that one shoulders Hot, you know what I'm saying? So I had to take off the shirt. This next one we're about to do though is the Cobra Pose. This is one of the best in the books. Lower back, open up those shoulders. If you have posture issues, it's a great way to get your posture right. Cobra Pose. You guys have it 10 to 15 minute stretching mobility routine how you feel sweaty <laughs> me too uh, update Zella and i are cruising these houston streets making our way over to the gym to go train you guys already saw we did that stretch and mobility routine so i'm already nice and warmed up probably do a little warm up once we get there um Today's a hinge day for me, so I'm gonna be doing hinge movements. That's glutes, that's hamstrings, and I'm gonna be doing a little shoulders. Look how cool she is with her shades, man. Oh, we have this, these are classics. Those are classics. Those yeah, are video, cl take, take it back, roll the clip. Try to look at the lens too if you can. Well, I have glasses on, it doesn't matter. Whenever <laughs> Gisela is in Houston, we're on a creative thing. You know what I'm saying? We're just on a creative like flow. So we, we, we help each other work. We work on ourselves at the same time, whether it's meditation, whether it's, you know, creating videos, getting photos, or going to the gym. We're always working just to become better, you know? All right, guys. Shout out to everybody that's been using the discount code, Orgain. 
pre-workout for today. I like Orgain so much because they have simple ingredients. So everything on the back of the ingredients, I know what it is. I don't feel like nasty or lethargic or anything when I take this pre-workout, so. This is the bomb, this is the wild, wild berry flavor. So we started today's workout with deadlifts, one of the best compound movements in the books, one of my favorite, great for athletes, great for women, trying to grow their glutes, trying to grow the booty, just one of the best movements. It really helps you build strength in so many different areas, um, strengthen those tendons, strengthen those ligaments, strengthen those muscles. So compound movements in the beginning of a workout are amazing, and especially when you're working in with somebody, because you guys know I train by myself a lot. That way I can just get a good flow in the gym. You know, I do my own programming, or if I'm on a program with my coach obviously i want to be strategic and have a certain flow but when you can structure your certain workouts you get better at structuring workouts so i was able to structure a workout that worked for gisella and i and we started with the deadlifts because it was just a great way to tackle so many different muscle groups before we jumped into our other movements gisella actually hasn't deadlifted in a while she used to do a lot of weight training but it was amazing to see that her form is still really good um she's still strong she does a lot of running now so i've said it before we all have different passions for physical fitness and for her it's running right now she runs a lot of miles so it's awesome to see, you know, it's just all about balance and, you know, different styles of training, whatever you got to do to take care of your heart, take care of your body, your mind. So after we did this hinge movement, which was the deadlift, we went over and did some shoulders. I tried to like incorporate uh, supersets at the same time. So it was just like, it wasn't too much of a heavy day. I was chasing more hypertrophy. So I kept the reps like 10 to 12 for everything. We went over to the turf area and we did some lunges forward and back, just really feeling the contraction, really just building that mind to muscle connection. So lunges forward, lunges backwards. After we did the lunges, we went right into a uh, Z press, a dumbbell Z press. So you're basically sitting on the floor, you're strengthening your core, making sure your core is nice and stabilized and you're pressing with your shoulders from the ground. This is a great way so you know you're really only focusing on your shoulders. There's no momentum or anything so you can swing the weight up. So just a good way to really feel that contraction in the shoulders. Same thing, 10 to 12 reps. After that, we went on to some more shoulders. We did some rear delt flies. Rear delt flies, you know, you could build that with for the shoulders and then we we supersetted that with front delt raises you can do this so many different ways you can grab dumbbells barbell you can grab a medicine ball so many different ways to do it but this superset from rear delt flies to front it's just your shoulders are gonna be super pumped after this so this workout the flow of the workout was amazing we did a few other things too just didn't film that we caught a really good flow in the gym but it was great working out with Gisela you know it's always great finding that balance you know you can work out by yourself all the time but every single once every once in a while just to add more fun or just a different energy to the gym train with somebody you actually enjoy being around it will make the atmosphere that much better after a workout we wanted to get some post-workout fuel in so we stopped at a place in houston called local foods they have a lot of options gluten-free vegan plant-based options and a bunch of fresh food so i got this nice little plant-based bowl right here with some plant-based taco meat we got some kale in here we got a bunch of beans we got avocado i think we had some quinoa in here it was just so delicious amazing i ate the whole entire bowl and then a side of fries because it was the weekend and you can't go wrong with some french fries and giselle also got something amazing too it was just great eat so if you're in the houston area try out local foods they're sensational for real back at the crib guys not much more going on about to just chill and relax the rest of the day i hope you guys were able to pull some value from today's video if you did make sure to drop a like and also comment and drop a like if you guys enjoy these lifestyle vlogs if you just enjoyed the vlog vibe make sure you guys let me know that feedback really helps and it helps the channel grow okay and family you guys know how it goes make sure to comment e and D in the comment section. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for real, for real. And as always, stay true to self and I will see y'all in the next one. I'm out.
kidding. Yo! <laughs>